everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and I'm excited to be here in collaboration with Home Talk and Works. And I'm going to be trying out the Maker X tool to be making a funky bird. Let me just give you a quick idea of what the Maker X is. It's a tool system that is a hub, and it comes with different attachments that you can get. For example, the rotary tool, and these things just plug right in and out. This is a universal bit, so if you have any bits left over from an older tool, you can definitely use them with this one as well. There's an airbrush attachment that does not require you to have a separate compressor. It works right off of this battery pack, and the battery pack is rechargeable, obviously, and it works with other works tools. So if, let's say, you have the drill or a leaf blower, this battery will work with that as well. So you can interchange them. They have different sizes. There's also a wood burning tool which has different bits or you can use it to solder. There's a heat tool and then there's an angle grinder. This I did not use on this project but the other four I did. So if you're a crafter like me or even if you're doing some home improvement this is a really awesome tool. So let's make this bird. I'm going to start by just drawing a bird and I'm going to freehand it. I'm going to go a very basic shape. So here's my basic bird shape, and now I'm just going to cut it out with some scissors. I went out to the garage, found some scrap wood, and all I'm going to do is trace it onto the wood. There we go. I found some thinner plywood for the plume. Now I just need to go cut these out. I have my bird cut out and I traced where the plume is going to be. I was thinking I want it to be like this. So I'm going to take my rotary attachment. I've got my hub set up with the battery. I'm going to cut out a notch in the top of the bird's head just so that we have a place to put the plume. Things are starting to come together. I've got the plume that fits in there nice and snug, so when it's time to glue it, it will stay in place, and I won't have to do a lot of finagling to keep it in place while it dries. And now we get to start decorating our bird. But before I do that, I am going to take my rotary tool again, and I have this attachment, and I'm going to determine where I want the eye. So I'm going to take a marker and just sort of mark it. Now we have a nice indent for the eye. The very first thing I'm going to do is add some white paint to the airbrush. So all I'm going to do is give it a light coat of the white, and that's just so that the other colors pop a little bit more than if I had just done it over the wood. Now I want to add a little detail by the beak where the blue meets the yellow. And for this I have the attachment which is actually like a wood burning tool and I'm just going to make a pattern right where the beak meets the bird. Now I'm just going to take a pop can, carefully poke a hole, 
and cut around. And we're gonna make a wing out of this. So I drew out a template and I'm gonna just cut. And here's my wing. But I wanted to do some fun stuff with the wing as well. And since the tool comes with the heat gun, I thought it'd be fun to maybe do a little embossing on the metal. So I've pulled out my embossing powders. They come in lots of different colors. So I'm gonna work on, on my wing and I'm just gonna put the embossing ink on here. And I have this green embossing powder. And then we just dump off the excess. Now I'm gonna turn on my heat gun and heat it up. So once that's done, I'm gonna come back and go over it with my embossing ink again. Just go over the whole thing. I'm not gonna rub it because I don't know if it'll rub off or not. So I'm just gonna dab on there. And then I'm gonna pour this rainbow sparkle that I have right on there. And now I'll take my heat gun again and heat it again. I am going to add the wing. I have two wings. Using the rotary tool, I'm going to just drill a hole into the wing and I'm just working on a scrap piece of wood. Now all I need to do is add a screw. And I thought she needed a little necklace. So a little dab of glue. I'll put that in place, glue the plume on. So I wasn't happy with how my eye turned out. So I am gonna clean it out. And I remembered I have like the perfect eyes for this bird. I painted the other one, but never filled it in. And I have these great plastic eyes that are gonna look better than anything I could make. So I've trimmed these down and now all I have to do is pop them in here with some glue. I found a couple of dowel rods, cut them down, and then I took the end and drilled right into here. And I snipped off a piece of a bamboo skewer and I'll put that in there. I'm gonna take the rotary tool with the drill bit and I'm just gonna go into this base, and this is just a chunk of wood that I had left over, and I just painted it the same color as the plume on the bird. So I'm gonna go on a little bit of an angle. And if you guessed already, this is obviously the other part of um, a pop can. So, I've got my legs, and I've got my skewer sticks. Okay, so I have one leg and foot. I'll add some pigment powder to the feet. So now I'm gonna drill into the bottom of the bird so that I can put the legs in and attach them. So I wanted to show you the final bird. I added some details like the feathers and I also added fake eyelashes because what fancy bird wouldn't want fake eyelashes? I added a pearl to cover up the screw by the wing and I did the back sides of the wing so you couldn't see the pop can brand on there anymore. But here she is. She's attached to the base. She's very stable. I glued everything and she can just add a pop of color to your room decor. And I went pretty bright and bold with the colors um, just because I thought it would be fun. But you could certainly do like a distressed look um, and seal it and put it outside. There's so many different things that you can do with it. I just really wanted to have some fun. So I hope you guys like it and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.